future is space travel. It makes the human need to discover and fly, and it can also provide our species with new homes in the years and decades ahead, as the Earth becomes increasingly crowded. So in this video, we will talk about everything you need to know about space travel. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to never miss any updates. To start, when did we first begin to explore space? A German V-2 rocket, deployed on a test flight in 1942, was the first human-made target to reach orbit. Even though it was unmanned, it attained a height of 189 kilometers or 117 miles. Former Nazi rocket scientists were later employed by both America and Russia, and were influential in the development of intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBMs, rockets capable of transporting nuclear warheads from one side of the globe to the other. These supermissiles served as the foundation for all post-war superpower space programs. Russia was the first to enter Earth orbit when it launched Sputnik 1, an unmanned spacecraft, in October 1957, followed a month later by Sputnik 2, which carried the dog Laika, the first living animal in space. In January 1958, the United States launched its first unmanned spacecraft, Explorer 1, into space. On both sides of the Atlantic, a slew of robotic spaceflights, followed before Russian cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin, piloted Vostok 1 into orbit on April 12, 1961, to become the first human in space. The space race officially began after that, with NASA's Apollo mission resulting in Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin becoming the first humans to walk on the moon. Space travel is very important since it has some practical reasons as well such as mining asteroids, like obtaining materials that are highly rare on Earth. The massive supply of the chemical isotope helium-3 believed to be tucked away in the soil on the moon's surface is one example. This isotope could be used as a catalyst for possible nuclear fusion plants. Helium-3, unlike other fusion fuels, does not emit dangerous neutron radiation that is difficult to contain. China's Chang-4 mission launched a new space race to conquer the moon in 2019, signaling their intention to create a permanent lunar base while NASA's Artemis mission aims to build a space station named the Lunar Orbital Platform Gateway, which will serve as a platform to shuttle astronauts to the Moon's surface. So several space missions claim that they aim to advance science's frontiers. However, even the advancement of spaceflight technology will result in unexpected but useful spin-off developments with a variety of practical applications. Memory foam mattresses, artificial cores, and the lubricant spray WD-40 are only a few examples of notable NASA spin-offs. There will undoubtedly be even more. Space exploration also inspires awe, reminding us that there are challenges bigger than our mundane world and its petty quarrels, and it undoubtedly serves to encourage a new generation of young scientists. It's also a form of insurance. We're all too aware that natural disasters will and do occur, such as climate change and the massive meteor that slammed into the Earth 65 million years ago causing the dinosaurs to become extinct. The moral of the story is that we should never put all our eggs in one basket. A safe space program, on the other hand, offers humanity a way out, as does the ability to fly to other planets. There are several challenges while traveling to space. Space is not a friendly place. Your spacecraft can protect you from the vacuum, but watch out for the meteoroids. It's not easy to get to space. The vast distances between destinations make travel difficult until we arrive. Astronauts seem to be flying, but they are still sinking. While floating weightlessly around a space station seems to be a lot of fun, astronauts aren't there to have a good time. They've come to work. We know that keeping a close eye on the world surrounding us is critical to maintaining safe passage. Whether it was the seas ancient ships sailed through or space, we would one day fly through. This is it for today's video. I hope you enjoy this video. Please click the like button if you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more updates.